Do you believe in miracles? Because I do. I survived one. I was helping my buddy jack up his house. We had replaced a bunch of joists that had termite damage. So now we're opening up the first floor so we could put a beam in it, but it didn't end so well. I'm pumping the jack, and I say to my buddy, is the 4x4 four four crooked? And he stops. He looks at it. He says, nah, it all looks good. We're just about there. Give it two more pumps. So this is what the jack setup looked like. So one pump, two pumps. And the 4x4 four four kicks out, and the 10-ton jack comes down with the pressure of the two-story house, and boom, hits me right in the head. It hit me right here. So I remember I felt the roundness of the pole, and it felt like someone hit me with a sledgehammer. I remember I started going backwards, and then everything got black, quiet, and peaceful. And then all of a sudden, I started to feel this energy just thrust me forward. Now, my buddy didn't even know that the pole hit me because it, the jack hit me and then bounced off the floor. And it weighs 90 pounds. So it was shaking the house. And that was just one piece. He said he saw me go backward and then it looked like I hit a trampoline and just <laughs> sprung right to my feet. Now, I felt this energy just thrusting me forward. Everything is black, quiet, and peaceful. And the next thing I know, I hear this calm voice just saying, open your eyes, open your eyes. Now, I'm struggling to open my eyes. And when I get them open, in my mind, I say, holy shit, I'm alive. And then I just feel the blood just pouring down my face. And the first words out my mouth, I say, I need medical attention. That effing thing just got me. So that's when my buddy realized that it actually hit me. And I don't know if I knew I was standing on my feet at that point, but I was on my feet standing there like this. And my buddy's yelling, move your hands, move your hands. Let me see. And I'll never forget when I moved my hands, his face, because he turned white as a ghost and basically went into shock because my head was split open. And so the house is demoed, so we run into the bathroom, and we look in the mirror, and I just remember looking in the mirror and saying, oh, man, we're going to need a hospital for this one, as I'm looking at my head split open. And so I call my wife, and I tell her, hey, we just had a construction accident. We're jacking the house. The jack kicked out and just hit me in the head and split my head open. I'm going to need you to pack me a bag, because there's no way a hospital's letting me leave tonight. So my buddy gets a gallon size freezer bag full of ice. I put that on my head, drives me a few blocks to my house. I go in, I get changed, get my bag of stuff, and my buddy takes me to the hospital. I check in. They take me back pretty quick, and uh, they put me in a CAT scan. And then the next thing I know, Dr. Moses is putting four stitches in my head. And his name was really Dr. Moses. They tell me that everything's fine. And four hours later, I'm leaving the, the hospital. I'm going home. So I end up in a different ER 13 days later because I was on another galaxy. And here to find out, I had a very severe concussion and a brain injury. So it's been an interesting few months. But the craziest part about it is this happened on a Saturday night. The day before that Friday morning, I was out doing something. I'm driving down the one main road. And unfortunately, I lost my mom to cancer. I'm driving by the cemetery. I pull in and the guys were cutting the grass i had a big landscaping company i know how it is so i go over they look like they just cut the lawn and they were coming by with weed whackers they weren't too far away and so i go over to the tombstone i clean off the grass and i just say hey mom look after the family and keep us safe and then i wave to the guys and i get back in my car and drive away and then the very next night i just survive a miracle so it was it's definitely crazy it makes you appreciate life and every day is just a blessing to wake up and be alive because you never know what life is going to throw at you so you can't really take much for granted and you have to look at the positive things because it can always be worse